Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January favorites video and I'm super excited because there are quite a few new things that I have been loving this last month and I really want to share them with you so I'm excited. Um, but first I quickly want to mention um, something that I received in the mail today that I was super excited about. Um, so I had to like run upstairs, open the box and start playing with them because I mean that's what you do when you get new makeup, right? That's exactly what you do and I do quickly want to give you a heads up that I have my phone in here right now and there's something on my phone that I want to mention in this video that I have been loving so if you hear it start vibrating because it is on silent that is my phone it's not me making weird noises it's just on the table and for some reason the minute I start filming this video all of a sudden everybody wants to text me so I apologize ahead of time for the noises that are going to be going on in the background so all right, so quickly I want to mention the eyeshadows that I ordered from ColourPop. I was in Georgia and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna order these eyeshadows because I've heard tons of things about them and I wanted to try them out for myself. I will not go into full detail about them or give you any kind of review on them just because I only just got them today and I've only been wearing them on my eyes for about an hour because of course I had to play with them and see what they were all about. So I do have them on my eyes right now. Um, I will just quickly show you the ones that I got because this is a January favorites video. Not a haul, but I did want to share them with you because I was super excited about them. So I will just quickly show you like the colors that I got and the names of them. I won't go into detail or review them or swatch them, but if you do want to see that in a later video, then just leave them in the comments down below and I can do that for you. So this is the box right here. And I'm super excited. This is so cute. Like the inside of this box is super adorable. And then inside, um, it does come with like this little, this little tips and tricks little um, like paper right here. And then it also comes with like a little handwritten note, which I thought was super cute. The light's probably washing it out. Um, it says, "Hey Becca, you us bow chicka wow wow." And then it says, "XO XO color pop." So I thought that was super cute. It's kind of personalized. I really like it. And then like I said, the inside of the box is super cute and I did get six of the colors. So like I said, I'll quickly go over them with you because I do want to jump into this favorites video. So this one right here is called Hustle and this is what I have all over my eyes right now. I can say that these are super pigmented and they are super blendable when you put them on. So this is a really matte deep purple shade and like I said, I have this all over my eyes right now. It's like all over the lid and it blended out really nicely. So, so far I do like them. And then this is the color called On the Rocks. I believe these two right, yeah. These two right here are what I blended together. No, I'm lying. I'm totally lying. It's these two. <laughs> these two, I kind of like dipped my finger into both of these right here and I kind of placed them in the center of my lid. So this one is the color three. And then this one is the color Cricut. So like I said, I have these both placed in the center of my lid right now, and they are just super gorgeous. I use my finger because that's how um, the little tips and tricks card tells you what to do with these super pigmented like glitter shades. You just place your finger in them and then pop them on your lid and watch the magic happen, and it definitely happened. So I really have been liking them so far. This is the color on the rocks, and this is just a really shimmery kind of bronzy color. Super beautiful. And then... This one right here is called Desert, and I thought that this color would be just super nice. It's kind of like a satin shade, and it's like a soft brown. Just really nicely um, placed over the lid with like a deeper brown in the crease, just for an everyday look. So I've really been wanting a color like that, and this one definitely is that color I've been looking for. And then this one right here is called Bill, and this is just like a really beautiful mauve color, and I have this placed right in the crease as a transition shade. I know everybody's getting tired of hearing the color mauve here on YouTube, but it's just a really beautiful color. So those are the colors I picked up from ColourPop, and like I said, if you guys want to see like a full review and swatches on any of these, um, or on all of these, just let me know. Leave it in the comments down below, and I'll do that for you, but... For now, this is my favorites video, and let's get into it. So, um, first I will quickly talk about a foundation that I have been loving. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I really like it. This is a drugstore foundation, and I really wanted to find a drugstore foundation that I could just buy that's, so, that's a little inexpensive, um, that would be really good for me as far as like a long wearing foundation. So, this is what my friend gave me. 
Her name's Alicia, and she actually gave me this one. It's the color N6 Honey Beige, and it's like a perfect match for me. And I really, really have been loving this foundation right here. It kind of tops my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation, to be honest with you. I took this one to Georgia because I thought, I'll take my higher end foundation because it'll last a lot longer um, when I'm wearing it, but that just wasn't the case with it. Um, I really miss the L'Oreal True Match one, so I just purchased this, and I think I'm going to take it back and get something else just because I really, really do like the L'Oreal True Match one instead. So that is what I have been loving lately is the L'Oreal True Match foundation. I just think it's perfect. It's longer wearing on me than any other foundation that I've tried, so I have been loving that foundation. Um, next is a couple of bronzers that I have really, really, really been enjoying. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is what the packaging looks like right here. And then this is what the color looks like in here. It's just a really soft, like, kind of, it doesn't have like an orange undertone, I don't think, but this is just perfect for my skin tone. I think it's really nice and it smells really good too. So again, everything that Too Faced um, comes out with that has like chocolate in it, like the Too Faced chocolate bar or the Too Faced bronzer, like the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, all of these are made with cocoa powder, so that's what makes them smell so delicious. Um, but yeah, this is just a really, really nice bronzer that I really love to warm up my skin with. And then I've also been loving the Smashbox one. Now I do have to say that I really do like the Smashbox one a little more than the Chocolate Soleil one just because um, I picked both of these up at iMats and at first I was a little hesitant to use the Smashbox one just because I had never used Smashbox products before. However, um, I busted this bad boy out and I thought I'm just going to give it a try and I absolutely really love it, like I said, more than the Too Faced one just because it applies a lot more than the Too Faced one. It's a little bit more pigmented and it also blends out really, really nicely. So this is the Smashbox bronzer in the color Suntan. And if you look at them, they're not that um, different in color. So they're pretty similar in the color. However, I just really like the payoff of this one a lot more. And I like the way that it blends out more than the Too Faced one. So um, either way, I really do like both of them. So I do enjoy both of them. Next is another cheek product. This is the um, Rockator Benefit Blush. It's an oldie but a goodie. Um, I used this back in the day when I first got it a lot, however I stopped using it just because the color payoff on this just isn't that great on me. I've seen it on so many other girls and I really love the way it looks, it's just I'm a little too dark. So when I apply this I really have to like swirl my brush in there and kind of just like build up the color to get the intensity that I want. However, once I get that color on my cheeks that I really really like, I absolutely love it. So you can see that I definitely hit pan on this. Because like I said, I do really have to work my brush in there and work the product onto my cheeks. But I love that it acts as like a blush and a highlight at the same time. It's what I have on my cheeks right now and I absolutely really love it. It just gives my cheeks a really nice glow. It's almost like a rose gold kind of color, but then it also like gives me a really beautiful highlight. So I absolutely love this and I'm definitely going to pick up another one once this is all gone because I really, really enjoy it. Alright, next is a mascara that I have been loving. And again, it's by Too Faced. No, this is not a sponsored video. No, they're not paying me to talk about these products. These are just products I picked up at IMAS and that I have been loving this last month. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys heard me mention this in my IMAS haul, and you guys heard me talk about how much I really like it. I have been using this since I purchased it, and I am obsessed with it. At first, the brush kind of like scared me a little bit because it is kind of a thicker brush, and with brushes like these, it kind of does like a lot of clumpiness if that's how you say it I don't know just really clumps up my lashes when they're when brushes are as big as this one is however it's not the case at all this applies really nicely really evenly and it also volumizes my lashes it just like it gives my lashes the kind of volume that I want without having to layer mascaras if you know what I mean like usually I'll use like the L'Oreal one and the Maybelline one and I'll kind of build them up and layer them just to get the intensity that I want this just gives me the intensity that I need with just like a few strokes. So I really have been loving the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And a couple of lip products I have been loving. It's no surprise that I'm obsessed with the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipsticks. These have been my all-time favorite colors right here. I know I have the berry one that's like my all-time favorite color. However, that's like a little more darker. 
and deeper. These are just like very nude pink and I love them. I have been looking for a color like this for a while, like kind of like a nude pink that just goes perfect with my skin tone. Um, and I think that I hit the jackpot with these two right here. So this is Melted Chihuahua and this is Melted Fig. And when mixed together, which is what I have on my lips right now, it creates this color right here. So Chihuahua is a little on the neuter side for me. Like it's not so bad where it makes my lips look pasty or chalky or anything like that. Um, it's just a perfect nude for me. It does wash me out just a little bit, but not too much. I can wear this on its own. However, if I want to amp it up just a little bit, I'll mix it with Fig. And that's what I got on my lips right now. I absolutely have been obsessed with these two right here. All right, so next, a, let me see, I'll just go through, yeah, we'll talk about brushes. I have two brushes that I've been loving. Um, they're from Morphe, and this is the 330 crease brush that I have, and I have to say, this brush right here is amazing. It's kind of like a long taper brush, and when I first saw this brush, I thought, there's no way that that's going to work for me. I see several girls here on YouTube use a brush like this to apply color in the crease, and kind of blend it out but for me it just seems like really like pointy like if you see that it's really long and pointy and it just looks like it would just feather the mascara and not place it nicely in there I don't know I don't know what I was thinking however I picked it up and I love this brush like I don't think I'll ever use like my 217 maybe I will and I have but this just like it's by far the best crease brush, crease brush I've ever had. So I just place the brush into my crease and kind of swirl it back and forth in windshield wiper motions and then kind of swirl it at the same time while I'm doing that. And it just kind of really nicely buffs out the color and builds the intensity and just blends it out super nicely. So I have been loving this brush right here. Next is the Morphe G8 brush. And this brush I have really been loving for applying powder right underneath my eyes just to set my concealer and I also use this brush for applying my bronzer because it applies it really nicely and it also blends it out really nicely as well. I also think that this brush would be really nice too, so I really want to pick up another one of these because I really do love this brush. So that is a couple of brushes that I have been loving. Next is a primer that I've been loving. This is the Angel Veil Primer by NYX. I have, I have heard tons of reviews on this and great things about this. Um, I just figured I would pick this up because it was inexpensive and I can just use it on those days where I'm not like going out or, you know, just like to wear with my drugstore like foundations or something like that. However, I have to say that this primer right here is the best primer I have ever used. Now, I remember picking up the Tarte primer because I really wanted the Smashbox primer. And even though I do like the Tarte primer, this is just like every other primer that I have got that's high end. After about an hour or two, my makeup just starts to melt off my face because I am super, super oily. Like I am oily. So it's just like every other primer. However, with this NYX Angel Veil primer right here, this stuff is good stuff. Like I can put this on my face in the day, like before I do my makeup and it just sets my face really, it sets on my face really nicely and it just like leaves my face with that perfect canvas to create, um, not to create, but to apply my foundation. So it just like really, really creates that like soft kind of smoothing like surface for you to apply your foundation. Once your foundation is applied over this primer, like your makeup is on all day long. So for those of you who have like really oily skin, I highly recommend the NYX Angel Veil Primer. It is amazing guys. Trust me when I say that my makeup lasts a lot longer than all those higher end primers that are out there. So if you have a problem with your foundation kind of sliding off your face after a couple hours, I highly recommend the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So give that a try. I think you will like it. Next is a um, glitter that I have really been liking. This is from Inglot. You guys heard me mention this in my eye mats haul as well. And this is what I have like popped right over those ColourPop eyeshadows that are in the center of my lid. I just think that this color right here is gorgeous. I don't want to open it because I feel like it's going to get everywhere but this is what it looks like right here. It is just super gorgeous. Maybe I'll have a close-up of it somewhere in this video, but this is just amazing. So it is so beautiful. Next is a polish that I have really been liking and don't mind my nails right now. I had gel polish on and I kind of took them off and it just left my nails really like crappy looking. But this is a polish that I've been loving. It is called Angora Cardi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's just a really pretty kind of pink, pinky purple color. Um, 
I thought it was gorgeous. I had this on a while back and I really, really liked it. So I'm going to paint my nails with this after this video. Um, so the, yeah, this is a color that I have been loving and it's the Nail Polish by Essie. All right, next is, you know what? Let's talk about these real fast before I jump into my palettes. Um, these are the Alex and Ani, Alex and Annie. I'm not sure how you say it, but these are the bracelets um, that she makes and I think that they are just so gorgeous. I received my first one from my best friend for Christmas and it's just my initial. And after I received this one, I kind of became obsessed with them. So I ended up buying me another one and this is um, the one from Disneyland. And actually, I didn't buy this. My boyfriend bought this. Um, it has Tinkerbell right on the charm and they're so cute. I just love the way that these are when you layer them together. They're just so super cute. Um, so I like wearing them like either on this arm or along with my watch. I just think they are so adorable. There are like three or four more that I want to pick up. However, every time I go onto the website or go into Nordstrom's or go on Nordstrom's website, they're always sold out of the ones that I want, but I do definitely want to pick up like three or four more of them because I really, really like layering these. They just look so super cute. So, and these charms do have like a meaning behind them. So there are like three or four, like I said, that I want to get and they do have like a super cute meaning behind them. So definitely want to pick up some more of those. And then quickly, I will mention my iPhone case. I have the iPhone 6 Plus and this is the case that I just purchased and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I thought this was like more of like a pinky color when I got it, but when I got it, it was kind of like almost like a purple pink, but nonetheless, I still think it's super cute and I just love the pattern on the back. I'm not really like a floral person, but I don't know, for some reason this just caught my attention and I got it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. All right, so that's why my phone was in here. So just in case it goes off, that's why it's in here because I wanted to show you that case. All right, so last I have some palettes that I have really been loving. Um, one of them is the Too Faced Chocolate um, Bar. It's the semi-sweet one. It's the second one that they came out with. You guys seen my review on this. If you guys haven't, I will link it down below for you guys if you guys want to check that out. But I am just loving this palette right here. It's just my favorite palette. And again, oh, it smells so good. So yeah, I have been really liking this palette. And then next, I have been loving the um, Morphe palette um, that Jaclyn Hill created. It's all of her favorite. It's called the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. And this palette is just amazing. I think it just has so many great colors in it and the color payoff is really really good with these shadows so and they're they are super easy to blend so I just think that it has tons of colors in here that you can create several different looks with which is what I've been doing so I have been loving that palette and I know that a couple of you requested for me to do a Valentine's Day look with this palette and I kind of wanted to do a couple of Valentine's Day looks for you however I just feel like most of you like like my hauls, my favorite videos, or like my reviews more than like my tutorials. So I didn't want to do a full video on a um, Valentine's Day tutorial if it's something that you guys just aren't going to be interested in watching. But if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, I will do that for you. Just give this video a thumb, thumbs up or leave it in the comments down below because it, it, it does take some time to do a makeup tutorial so I don't want to invest all of that time if it's not something you guys really 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 want to see you know what I mean so just let me know in the comments down below all right last is another palette that I don't know if I've mentioned this palette at all or not but I did get it for Christmas and I have been loving it I think it's just a great palette it's the naked um the Urban Decay naked on the run palette I got this for Christmas my boyfriend's sister and mom bought this for me and I just think this is a really great palette like if you're in a hurry like I, I tend to grab this palette a lot um, like if I'm like getting ready for work like if I'm in a hurry or I just need something really quick and easy to do it's definitely not a palette that you can take on the run with you because of the packaging it's just like really really thick like I see so many pictures of this where people are like sitting in their car do something crazy and they have their palette out like this is just not an on the run palette that you can take with you however it is a palette that is super convenient if you are extremely busy you don't know what to do for makeup that day and you want to take the thinking process out of it this is a great palette to do that with so I have been loving this palette it looks like this it has all of these eyeshadows right here and what I love about it is that it does have like your shimmer shades but it also has two perfect 
um, matte shades in here. So you have a transition shade and then you have like a darker brown shade to kind of deepen up that crease. It also comes with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And it also comes with a liner, a mascara, and a lip gloss that I currently have in my bag right now. But yeah, it comes with all of that. So like I said, it's a super easy palette that just takes the thinking process out of like, what the heck am I gonna do today? So that's why I've been really loving this palette because I do um, have a full-time job and sometimes I get up in the morning and I'm just so tired, but I do do my makeup every single day and this palette right here has just been perfect for me to be like, you know what? Let's just do an easy everyday look with this palette and out the door I go. So I have really been liking that palette right there. So that is all of my favorites for the month of January. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you wanna see a review and swatches on the ColourPop eyeshadows, just leave that in the comments down below. And if you want to see um, any kind of Valentine's makeup tutorials um, using any of these palettes that I have, especially the um, Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette, just give this video a thumbs up and I will do that for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to y'all soon, bye.